Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. This playlist of techniques, normally I've been following Duncan's list of different techniques that I found on his website, but one I didn't find there and was brought to my attention by a guy called Glenn Scott when he was looking at this particular video, my uh, 38 in the series of the diabolical um, telegraph Sudoku's where I worked through them. And he just mentioned the XY wing as a neater solution than the one that I was using and he's quite right. So let us explain and examine what the XY wing is. Well, it's where you have three possibles spread between three different cells, two per cell. That's probably the easiest way of looking at it. So we have a, let's see, we have a three nine, a three seven, and down here we have a seven nine. So the three possibles are three, seven, and nine. And this becomes known as the pivot. And we say this is X and this is Y. So let's look here, the, the pivot, the three and the seven. If that's a three, this is not a three, that's a nine. And it means we can't have any nines down here along row five. So that's if that was a three. If that's a seven, then down at the very end, we can't have a seven here. We have to have a nine. So we can't have any nines across row J. And the bit that's common to the two of them is J five. So it means we can get rid of J five. That's basically what the X, Y wing is. Okay, uh, very handy, very useful, easier to find than something like the X, Y, Z wing, which is a lot harder to, to find, I have to say. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, thumbs up and thanks Glenn for explaining it to me and subscribe if you'd like as well. And until the next time, Slán Tamil.